Hey guys, this is Sam for BoardAtWork.com and this is the NX1 from Samsung. The NX1 from Samsung is a mirrorless digital camera and um, it is a very powerful and versatile device. Now, let's just walk you through exactly what we have here. You have your shutter release up on the right side here. Um, over here you have a knob that has your autofocus, your ISO, white balance and metered settings. Over here you have your different modes. Um, on the rear here, you have your electronic viewfinder. You have a button that can switch between the electronic viewfinder and the display. Or the electronic viewfinder actually has a sensor at the bottom here. So if you actually put my hand across the sensor, oh, I put my hand across that. Oh, damn it. I think I changed the mode. There we are. So that should work now. Pretty quick. So you shouldn't have any delays um, if you really need to um, switch from the display to the electronic viewfinder um, you know, pretty quickly if you need to do that in, uh, <laughs> basically in a split second. It should, it should work quite, uh, quite well. You have a really beautiful display here that actually tilts so you can do some uh, pretty um, good overhand or overhead uh, shots here or you can do some pretty low shots um, you know, close to the ground, you have the display actually tilted up. So this is quite versatile here. The electronic viewfinder actually has a, um, you know, an OLED display in here. So you're going to get pretty close to true color coming from the electronic viewfinder, which is a big plus when you're using a mirrorless camera. Because on some mirrorless cameras, uh, at least what I've noticed from my NX30 is that the color I see from the viewfinder often doesn't turn out to be the color that actually on the image itself when it's delivered. But the combination of this OLED electronic viewfinder plus this pretty vibrant screen, I believe this is a 720 by 480 screen, so it's pretty large, um, gives you a pretty good uh, idea of what your pictures should look like when they're actually um, you know, being processed on your PC. At the top here, going back to the top, we do have an LED screen here. But you see, the LED screen here, um, it's pretty dark, especially even when you're using it during in daylight. So they do have a um, you know a backlight feature here that you can click with this button to basically give you a, um, a backlight on the LED. The LED here will give you the readings on exactly what your current settings are, so you can actually monitor that as you go walk. Um, you, you can you can find similar a similar feature in a lot of high end, or should I say, a lot of DSLRs out there right now, or a lot of DSLR with comparable features. Now, we do have um, basically a directional pad here for um, your menus and settings. We have your basically a display button here to switch between the gallery and the, uh, and the light mode. And your uh, delete button over here. Also have your menu button and your function button here. And also the autofocus button right I should note that this does have Wi-Fi functionality, so you should be able to so basically, you can, I should say not should be able to, but you can remote um, access this using a cell phone or a Samsung cell phone actually, like I tried. And you can actually take remote pictures um, using the, uh, you know, your cell phone as that controller for the camera. So the camera in essence becomes just a lens at that point with all the setting, the functionality of the settings um, being um, fed to it by your phone. So that's actually a pretty nifty feature. Overall, I really, really like the feel of this device. This is a magnesium casing, so it feels pretty solid. And if you've ever used the NX30, uh, or should I say the NX series, you prefer, this looks very familiar to the NX30. So you have the same ergonomic feel and a very compact um, form factor with a lot of pro um, with a lot of pro features here. Now, let's talk about image quality. So this really excels at one thing in particular, and that is the 4K video capture. I know it does a whole lot more than just 4K video capture. You can capture at 1080, you can capture at 720, and it takes some pretty amazing stills. But what stands out when using the NX1 is actually the 4K capture or video capture. Because what's essentially happening is you're taking a, you're basically filming at 6K and then downsampling to 4K. So you're getting very crisp 
images, very clear images, very clean images here. And even when you actually um, zoom into the videos or, you know, or even the images using this device, it's um, pretty amazing the kind of quality, um, the kind of details you get, um, you know, when um, viewing, you know, when viewing on a PC. Now, I'm going to flip this back over and show you that although we already mentioned, you know, these physical buttons here for your settings, you can also access your settings very up basically with touch screen only. So I'm going to just hit the menu button, button down there and right away, you know, because this is a touch screen, I have access to all the settings I would normally have using any of these knobs here and even more settings. So this is actually quite useful. Touch screen here, very easy if you've used a, you know, a touch screen um, device or like a phone, you should be very comfortable using the, uh, the menus on this device. Overall, I think the NX1 is probably the best camera I've actually ever had my hands on and the video quality is really, really amazing. Now, all the features here, um, all the features that include a very, very fast um, autofocus and also, you know, a great burst mode. And I'm going to show you that in a second. So let me uh, turn this back off and on. Just put a uh, 30 megabyte per, uh, meg megabyte per second uh, card in here. Um, so format. All right, so it's ready to shoot. Now, this is basically the burst mode. And this is pretty quick with the, uh, the shutter speed. You can hear that the shutter keep going and then all of a sudden it's slow. Now the buffer is full. We're gonna wait a few seconds. And it should be done right about now. Alright, we're gonna go again and see what we can uh, do here. So that gives me another two seconds. So the buffer cleans out pretty quickly. I'm gonna wait here for another 10 seconds. And we should be able to get back to full capacity. Um, we should be able to clear the buffer fully and start shooting. I should mention that I'm actually shooting full 4K here. So this, these are pretty big files. So the buffer is actually getting um, pretty much filled, um, you know, uh, faster than it normally would if you're shooting at a 1080p uh, quality. Now, this is actually a very great device. It does um, facial recognition and it does that um, while, you know, you have a subject that's moving. So if you have, if you're shooting a video, and you actually have a, you know, moving back and forth in the video, the facial recognition feature here would actually zoom in on your face, basically in the background and foreground. So you see that bokeh kind of, um, you know, uh, look and feel happening while you're moving from farther to, while you move closer to the lens, which is actually pretty cool. Um, overall. At a price point of about eleven hundred to about fifteen hundred for the body only, I know it's a pretty wide um, uh, price point. Shoot, I, like I mentioned, this um, this, de this device is about a year old, so initially it was about fifteen hundred. Now you should be able to find it for about eleven hundred to about thirteen hundred for just the body only. Um, it's a pretty substantial price, but for what it offers when compared to any of the other devices out there, any other similar cameras, especially um, DSLRs and other mirrorless cameras out there, I think it offers a great balance between ease of use and actually, uh, you know, and actually professional features. So you're really getting a lot for your money. Um, so I, I would say, you know, the price point is pretty much on, uh, on point. And, uh, you can, yep, that's uh, it. This again is Sam for BorderWork.com and this is the NX1 from Samsung. As always, enjoy your entertainment.